Hello everyone. Welcome you all to this new video. So in my previous videos, uh, we had discussed with the, some of the concepts related to module one. So the name of the module one was related to basics, basics of microwave. Into that, under that, we have started with the microwave system and some important IEEE microwave frequencies. Then after that, we have seen the concepts of uh, uh, reflection coefficient, transmission coefficient in our previous videos. Along with that, the voltage and current equations under transmission lines and uh, many other concepts related to module one till now we have discussed most of them. So there are, we are left with only few of the concepts. So before that, whatever concepts we have discussed till now, so based on that few of the problems which are there uh, from these topics, from the formulas which are related to our previous videos, that is transmission coefficient, reflection coefficient, uh, then characteristic impedance, propagation constant, everything, these parameters, based on these parameters, there are few problems to be solved. Okay. So these problems are uh, simple problems, direct problems, but in the final exam paper, these kind of problems, they would be giving you in a twisted manner. Okay. So that problems I am not solving right now, but there are few basic problems that you need to be knowing about how to solve that we are going to solve in this video. Okay. I have three set of problems here. So one by one, let us solve those all three of them. Okay. So here there is the heavy usage of calculator in these problems because we need to be converting some uh, complex form to polar forms and all and calculate because uh, it is a bit complicated. Okay. So that's why let us see. And I'm going to tell you how to use the calculator as well. So stay tuned. Watch this video till the end if you want to understand the concept. Okay. So there are three problems in this video. Let us start with the first problem. So the question goes like this. A transmission line has the following parameters. So these are the parameters mentioned here. That is R stands for resistance. R is equal to 2 ohms per meter. Per meter indicates that the wavelength. Okay. So whatever the wave passed in the with respect to the transmission line. So that's everything is calculated per meter. Okay. The resistance passed through the circuit everything. Then we have L that is the inductance that is given by 8 nano henry per meter. Then we have the susceptance that is G. G is termed as a susceptance and that is given by 0.5 milli mo per meter. Then we have capacitance 0.23 picofarad. Then the frequency for generated in this uh, circuit in this uh, network is around 1 gigahertz. Okay. So based on these parameters, we should we, we need to be calculating the characteristic impedance and the propagation constant. Okay. So based on the, the topics related to characteristic impedance as well as the propagation const, constant, we have already made the video. We have derived the expression for that. Based on that, we have uh, uh, known the formula of characteristic impedance. That is, it is represented as Z0. Okay. So Z0 is equal to square root of Z by Y. This I have already discussed in the previous video. Those who have not seen it, please go and see it. Okay. So this is the formula where Z is given by R plus j omega l and y is given by g plus j omega c okay this i have already told you so based on this now what i'm uh, simplifying is we know that omega is the frequency uh, angular frequency that is uh, given denoted by generally it is given by 2 pi f right so that i'm substituting here that is r plus j into 2 pi f l divided by g plus j into 2 pi f c Okay, so substitute the values now Z0 is equal to square root of first is R that is 2 ohms. So 2 plus J into 2 into pi is 3.14 and frequency they have given it as 1 gigahertz. So 1 into giga stands for 10 to the power 9 and L is the inductance that is 8 nano Henry. So 8 into 10 to the power minus 9. Okay, divided by G is given by 0.5 millimo. So I am simply writing it as 0.0005. Okay. I have just uh, uh, simplified it and written this milli is 10 to the power minus 3. Right? So that's why I have written it as 0.0005 plus J 2 into pi is 3.14. Frequency is 1 into 10 to the power 9. And capacitance is 0.23 into 10 to the power pico, right? So minus 12. Okay. So I uh, substituted the values now. Now what I'm doing is just simplifying it. So here 10 to the power 9 and minus 9 goes. So the remaining terms are 
टू प्लस जे इन टू दीज थ्री टर्म्स यू मल्टीप्लाई टू थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर एंड एट सो मल्टीप्लाई दिस टू इंटू थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर इंटू एट दैट इज फिफ्टी पॉइंट टू फोर ओके राइट इट हियर फिफ्टी पॉइंट टू फोर डिवाइडेड बाई पॉइंट जीरो 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 फाइव प्लस जे इंटू सो हियर अगेन ऑल्सो सिंप्लीफाई इट दैट इज टू इंटू थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर इंटू दिस टर्म into this term so before that we can simplify this here 10 to the power 9 in, and 10 to the power minus 12 that is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 right so that you do it here that is 2 into 3.14 into 0.23 into 10 to the power minus 3 okay so this is the answer we are getting 1.44 into 10 to the power minus 3 simply you can write it as 0.0014 okay it is one and the same this answer it's visible right so 1.44 into 10 to the power minus 3 i am simply writing it as 0.0014 okay so now how to simplify this further so the further simplification simplification is uh, not possible because you see here in this case uh, it is under root of some complex numbers okay so complex numbers if you put this directly in the calculator you won't be getting you would be getting math error so that's say what you should be doing in this case is there is one method for you should be converting the complex form in case of both numerator as well as denominator in the polar form first that is z not what i'm doing is this is the complex form right In numerator as well as denominator, I am just converting it to the polar form. So how to do that using the calculator? It's very easy. You see here, if you want to con convert from complex to polar, just type polar here. Okay, how to type polar? You see here. First, keep the calculator in complex mode. Okay, C M P L X. This is the mode. You just go for mode setup and click complex. That is two, and this would be in the complex mode. Now. polar right so here this, this plus button you see here here we it is written polar so shift plus before that you need to be clearing the stuff shift plus so this is polar and polar of the whatever the coefficients are there that is 2 and 50.24 right 2 comma so put comma here is this is comma shift close bracket 50.24 okay So here we would be getting the answer that is uh, one is the uh, uh, magnitude and phase we are getting we are getting both the terms so write it first magnitude is fifty point two seven with an angle of eighty seven point seven two degree okay so same goes with denominator do the same thing clear this shift o r point zero 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 five comma point zero zero one four okay so right now whatever the answer you get here in this case you are getting one point four eight six into ten to the power minus three I am simply writing it as zero point zero zero one four eight okay this is the magnitude and the phase here we have got it as seventy point three four okay so this is the angle whatever we have got so now this is the answer now again after doing this this much so there is still more uh, procedure to be done so what is that procedure you see here here if we have written converted it into polar form right so now we can simplify this for this we have one method to simplify okay uh, that method is if you have in this form whatever the phase components are there that you should be subtracting first that is 87.72 minus this term and after subtracting you should be dividing that answer by 2 and writing the final answer why dividing by 2 because we have square root right so that's why we need to be dividing by 2 and the magnitude part do the direct uh, division okay that is square root of 50.27 divided by this you do it okay so what i'm doing now magnitude part that is 50.27 divided by 0.00148 and phase part i am doing it as 87.72 minus 70.034 degree divided by 2 okay 
do this and see what the answer you get this you should be keeping it in angle form okay so this if you divide it you will be getting the answer as 180 4.29 with an angle of angle we would be getting it as 8.40 degree okay if you simplify this okay so this is our characteristic impedance now again if you want to keep it you could be keeping in the keeping it in the same order that is a uh, impedance so it is written as ohms or else if you want to write it in complex form again if you write if you want to write this in complex form again in the calculator press here we have a, a rectangular form right so this stands for complex form so shift minus then uh, put the coefficients that is uh, one magnitude part 184.29 comma phase part that is 8.4 okay so this is the uh, uh, x it, it is in the form of x plus uh, i into y so x is 182.31 plus j and whatever the y we value we are getting that is 26.92 ohms okay so this is the characteristic impedance we are getting in uh, angular form that is polar form as well as the rectangular form okay so i hope this is clear now one more pa pa part is remaining that is related to the propagation constant propagation constant is calculated by gamma okay so the formula goes like this for the propagation constant the formula is square root of z into y okay so i'm not going it's going to solve it again you see here here it is z by y and here it is z into y so here already we have got this part right by solving this much okay because z and y we have substituted these two here it is getting divided here it would be getting multiplied so this term i am considering it so instead of dividing it under root i am just multiplying it okay so how let us see how i am writing it that is equal to square root of 50.27 angle 87.72 into 0 0.00148 angle 70.2 Three four degree. Okay, so like this I've done. In this case, what you need to be doing is, in this case, it is simple. Whatever the magnitude is there, you do the direct uh, procedure that is multiply it and take the square root and see what's the answer. And the phase part when you are uh, doing for multiplication of two uh, angular uh, polar forms, polar form values, what you need to be doing the angles you need to be adding it. Okay, you, you should not be dividing it by two, multiplying it by two. Nothing you need to be doing it. Just add the angles and keep it. Okay. So in this case, first to do fifty point two seven into point zero zero one four eight. Do this sub multiplication angle. 87.72 plus 70.34 degree okay so do this after simplifying this i'm getting the answer as directly i'll write the answer you cross verify it again 0 0.277 with an angle of or just divided by 2 is there here also okay because we are taking the square root right so that's why you need to be dividing by 2 for this also since we are taking the square root so whatever answer we get after that to divide by 2 okay so this if you add these two we are going to get the answer as 158.6 degree divided by 2 we are getting our final answer as 79.37 degree okay so this is the propagation constant in a, a polar form and in rectangular form just uh, go press rectangular that is 0 0.277 comma 79.37 close the bracket and see the answer that is 0 0.051 plus j 0 0.27 propagation constant okay so this is the final answer for uh, characteristic impedance as well as the propagation constant so hope it is clear this problem I hope you understood this problem very clearly so please uh, go through this problem once again and uh, try to understand how I put the values in the calculator so if the screen was not visible to you it was it was because of some light effects here so whatever I have uh, told you guys just follow that and uh, put the values in the calculator and solve it okay so that's all for this video guys 
So this was one kind of problem. So we have uh, two more problems to be solved that I'm going to solve in the upcoming videos because this, this video would be uh, lengthy otherwise. So those two problems I'm going to solve it quickly because I've told already told you the method of solving right. So directly I'm going to show you those problems to you guys. Okay. So that's all for this video guys. Thank you. Support us. Like, share, subscribe to our channel. Keep supporting. Thank you.